Hey, what's up, you guys? Tomorrow's series, nice night here. And today, um, I actually got something uh in the mail today, and you're not gonna believe what it is. Now, the package I have is uh, like right here. Now, I can't show you my shipping address because you already know why. Actually, uh, pretty much from my other videos, like the Crash Bandicoot 4 unboxing video that I pre-ordered on Amazon. Yes, yeah, so this is a game that I actually just pre-ordered a while ago, guys. Before this game came out today, so let's see what it is. Oh crap, this is really hard. Oh, stupid. Oh crap. Oh crap. Stupid. Oh, but I can see the hole up here. Oh my god, guys, I see a Switch game in here, and... Oh, crap, I better put this done. Now we got the game here, and oh my god, yes! It is... Da, 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 the Super Mario RPG Remake! Now, oh my god, yes! Yes! We got the game here, guys, Super Mario RPG. Now, this is actually a remake of the original game, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, released back in 1996. And this is actually the first time, guys. So if you wonder, why is the cover, like, you know, why is the cover white? Shouldn't it be like the original version, which uh, has the castle in the background, has three characters on it? Well, actually, Nintendo commemorates, actually, well, they wanted to just make a design that commemorates the Japanese version. The Japanese version, which actually has a white background, and has all of the five characters in the game. Being Mario, Mallow, Gino, Peach, and Bowser. Yep. North America, however, only has Mario, Peach, and Bowser, actually, on the cover for North America. Also, guys, this is the first time that both European and Australian gamers get to play this game. Because the thing is, guys, this game was never released in PAL regions. Only North America and Japan got it. So yeah, I know it's pretty devastating for many European or Australian gamers who never got a chance to play the original version. So the remake is the only way how they can play it, actually. I'm not so sure, guys. It probably might be the other ways, like the virtual console for the Wii U and New 3DS. And I'm not sure actually how it will work. Uh, probably uh, the Super Nintendo Classic might have both the European or PAL versions, like, you know. We don't know, guys, so. And anyway, let's get to unboxing my copy to it, so let's get to it. All right, guys, so we're about to uh, unbox the game here. So uh, this is the front cover up closely. Like, look, it has the E for everyone, which is everyone, and there's Spanish, which is todos. If you guys don't know what todos is, todos in Spanish means everyone. Then here's the side to my RPG. Then here's the back, y'all. Like, look, it has a giant sword, which is from the original game. Look at the art style for the back. Everything here. It has E for Everyone, which is mild fantasy violence. And then there's Spanish right there, which is Violencia Moderada de Fantasia. It means mild fantasy violence in translation. So let's open up my copy. So let's get to it. Ah, oh, that was easy. Great to have long nails, guys. When it comes to opening up something like this instead of using scissors. Got one? Yes. Let's see the cover on the inside. Oh my god, yes. It shows a map of the entire game. And even has the cartridge in here. Look, the cartridge it just has Mario on there. Yeah, this is a huge map, actually. Though, for this time, uh, just like from the original version, we don't get to hear any voice acting, actually. Except for Bowser making a few sounds. Uh, if that's an exception, you know. Now, guys, when this game actually, before it came out, actually, there was a huge problem, and footage of the game was getting leaked, actually, online. And I know Nintendo is pretty protective of their copyright, so I'm going to try my best to only just show you uh, how it looks like on the menu and also the points, how much it's worth. So let's go set it up in the menu. All right, guys, so we're about to put in the Mario RPG remake on there, so I got the copy out right here. 
Uh, the console is right down there, so. Oh, wait. It's already opened up. So, uh, they put it right in there, guys. And then, uh, let's try, uh, uh, putting it up on screen what it looks like. Oh, it's on there, guys. So what it looks like on the menu. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, guys, this game can also get gold points right there. Let's see if it needs an update. Oh, yeah, I'm losing the latest version. See, the cloud, and look, there's gold points right there. See, that would be me. Ah, 60, guys. Let me try getting out of this here. 60 points have been earned. So I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen what it's like. So uh, if you haven't, uh, let me. Sh I'm just going to show you the menu interface at this time here, guys. Just the menu interface, you know. This is the menu, guys. Nintendo is Square Enix. Well, Square Enix developed the original game with Nintendo. Yeah, there's also a difficulty mode you can choose, which is uh, breezy or normal. Well, breezy is actually, um, for those who never have played the original game or those who have never played an RPG, normal is for those who have played the game or have played an RPG. So I'm going to have to go with normal since I've already played an RPG. That's only for what I can show you in the menu, guys. Nothing much really. Okay, guys, so this is the menu for the game. You have the party here. We got only Mario here. That's how when you start up the game. There's also the equip, which um, you can equip uh, various uh, weapon or armor. Weapon here, nothing. Armor, nothing. Accessory, no. You can also use special abilities, which um, it actually requires the flowers there, guys. Like, see, look. Flowers and also the power right there. Currently not going to do it right now. There's also items, you know, normal or special. A journal, which currently not anything. System, which allows you to go to settings or the world map, which I cannot go outside right now. Return to title. Uh, that's basically where you leave the game. There's also uh, help, which you can brush up controls and learn how to play. This is basically the controls here, guys. Even reading the screen. It's even a battle uh, mechanic, guys. Uh, let me show you. This is the battle here. Right here, this is the controls. Even the interfaces, plus these commands. Pretty much anything, guys, here. The Yoshi guessing game. Field, actually, this is what they got. Shops. Stopping monster list. Oh, and I also can't forget this, guys. Uh, if you go to the system settings, you know, you can change the default movie, which is dash, walk, type A, which is, uh, you know, you press A to confirm or B to go back. Or you can press uh, B, which is... Uh, a, B, X, Y, during the battle, press the same button again to confirm. Then there's a skip targeting. You always choose to attack or heal in battle. Skip targeting for attacking or healing in battle when there's only one possible target. There's also difficulty. You can go for normal or breezy. You can carry a few items in normal mode. Yeah. And then there's music version. You can play either the modern, which is for Nintendo Switch, or classic, which is for the Super NES version. The music from the Nintendo Switch version is still used for some cutscenes. This is what they got for uh, Super Mario RPG, so... Currently, this is what they got right now for the game. Yeah, currently, this is what they got for the game right now, and not really that much. Still remains the same from the original game, so... That's all for what I can show you for the menu and also just a bit of the game, so the verdict of this game okay so for the verdict of super mario rpg here this remake it's a pretty solid remake though i am not going to spoil um currently what's happening in the game even though guys uh yeah the leakers of the, of the game you know guys they leaked the footage of this game i can't believe it you know y'all my chances have been ruined actually for now actually although i have never played mario rpg before Actually, this is my first time playing Mario RPG, but I am a fan of RPGs, actually. Although, um, 
I actually have seen a video about a guy, well, it's from a web series called My Retro Life. He made a video called Top 10 Retro Games That My Dad Hated. I can send a link in the description below of what the video will be like, guys. So, uh, to, you know, how this was mentioned in one of his videos. So, also, guys, can't forget, if you're a fan, you know, of Mario, actually, this is a pretty solid try, actually. Although, this is the first time Mario has received a role-playing game, actually, back in the 90s. And also, um, if you have played the original game, it's a perfect remake, actually, to play. But if you're new to RPGs or have never played this game before, the original version, you should really give it a try because it's really fun to play, actually. Especially how uh, most RPGs are made in Japan. But this one here, guys, you play as Mario. For those who don't like anime-style RPGs, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, guys, uh, I do have upcoming plans, you know, like for another video, like... I might be going Black Friday shopping, uh, you know, a uh, day after Thanksgiving. So, um, it depends on the retailer, which I might get. Uh, I might need to see what they got for video games uh, for both Nintendo Switch and PlayStation. I mean, when I looked up online, actually, at Walmart, I thought they were going to put, like, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 on Black Friday. But for some reason, it wasn't on there. So, maybe online it's not on Black Friday, but maybe in person it might be on Black Friday, guys. I don't know really, but there's also the games that I've missed out on from 2022, guys. Like The Last of Us Part 1, which is coming on Black Friday, actually, for PlayStation 5. Oh, and also can't forget, guys, Super Mario Odyssey finally gets to be cheaper now. After five years, never had a Black Friday sale, actually, guys. Finally. For those who don't own the game, actually, it's a perfect opportunity to get it. There's also Mario Strikers Valley, which is coming for $40 as well. Yeah, and uh, for that game, I wish I could play, actually, since I'm a... I don't usually play sports games that much, guys, but I actually am thinking of getting it on Black Friday. It depends, guys. We don't know yet, guys. There's also Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze or Kirby's Return to Dreamland Deluxe. But we won't know, actually, until if I go in the store, guys. So... Yep, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.